Let us rise up and build through faithfulness. We want to read from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 1, verse 8, and see what Nehemiah said. They can tell say, Remember, I pray the word that you commanded your servant Moses, saying, If you are unfaithful, I will scatter you among the nations. It's a matter of let us rise up and build through faithfulness. What I'm saying is that that is the faithfulness. What is the meaning of faithfulness? Do you see remaining true to one's commitments and responsibilities even in the face of difficulties and challenges? Yes, it has some sequential process here. It's moving from your comfort zone to, difficult, to face difficulties and come back to your comfort zone. But so be steadfast yourself in God, be lean yourself on Him, be uh, rely yourself on Him. Through faithfulness of God, and no me who you are no quality. Say, dear, who to your men are seven, so say, dear, why to your men so way noon and never may have was a pack in general of redeem my agency in your answer. But the one that's only one was one, you may no quality in your If you become self independence, the faithfulness of God cannot be seen. So, why would you watch the one was one? If you depend on your own strength, the faithfulness of God cannot work. You enter First Corinthians chapter one verse nine. First Corinthians chapter one verse nine. Verse nine. He said, "God is faithful, mm -hmm. who has called you into fellowship with His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord." Verse ten. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that all of you should agree with one another mm -hmm. in what you say. And that there may be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and in thought. Amen. Amen. It was say, Nyamia of Fen and the The God who has called us is faithful, Lord. Now, of Fen and the Quarrel, what Fresh here? Now, me present in Yentia so fellowship. What Fresh, you should come in partnership with our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Lord. And yes, you used to the moment in the way to have a tower. And was God has called you to have fellowship with our Lord Jesus Christ. Who is the Lord? God has brought us with his precious blood and he wants us to have fellowship with him. And who is this Lord? And he said, God himself is faithfulness God. So he is commanding us to be faithful. So he is commanding us to be faithful. And I enter your second Timothy chapter chapter two verse thirteen. Second Timothy chapter two verse thirteen. Mm -hmm. It says, "If we are faithless, if we are faithless, he remains faithful." If we are faithless, he remains faithful. He remains faithful. One of the super no paradigm, he's unchangeable God. He cannot deny himself. Hallelujah. And that is free no still in his faithfulness. And he said, in the and I am afraid that we God has even entrusted this work in our hands. We have to be very faithful and then work. And I pray that the Lord God Himself is going to show Himself faithful. The flourishing.